Cigar Pals, as promised, the Española, Connecticut. This is a pretty little Connecticut wrapper on there. Open foot. Torpedo cap. Nice wrapper on it. Nice, really tight seams. Fine veins on there. Anyhow, and uh, on the aroma, I'm getting uh, hay, a cinnamon, and a nutmeg. Let's try to, let's go ahead and cut this baby and we'll uh, check out the cold draw on it. That draw is a little tight. But I am picking up that hay and that cinnamon. And that nutmeg too. It's a little strong. Let's fire this baby up and see what it tastes like. I think I've covered everything. Let's check it out. Got my Zippo lighter out here today. I'm thinking my Zippo lighter might not make it. It's like a light hay, and there's some the cinnamon and nutmeg and some saltiness in there. Draws a little tight, but it'll probably work itself out. So that's what we start off with. We'll be back. All right, cigar pals, we're a little ways in there, and uh, you can see that uh, we got a nice white ash on it. <clears throat> I'm watching the camera. <laughs> got a nice white ash on it, nice even burn line. The flavors, that hay. Cinnamon and nutmeg, there's a little bit of pepper in there. Still that saltiness on the tongue. Interesting stick, not real complex, but it's a, it's a Connecticut, so I don't really expect it to be terribly complex, but it's got some nice flavor to it. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Unfortunately, I had to change cameras. My battery went dead on my other camera, but uh, we're in at the end of the second third. Still maintaining, it's uh, got that hay still in the background, but there's a nice creamy cinnamon and nutmeg there, and uh, a little salt and pepper on the retrohale and on the um, uh, back of my throat, some on my tongue. Really surprising the amount of flavor in this thing, uh, considering it's a uh, uh, Connecticut. I'm taking the band off now. See how this goes. Alright. Came off. No tears in the wrapper. We're going to go ahead and take this other one off too while we're at it. Ah! There it went. 
about one inch chunks is what we're getting out of those uh, ashes, that nice white ash. All right. So far, that's a good smoke, man. I'm liking it a lot. Española, the Connecticut, and I had the Maduro this morning. Both nice sticks. We'll be back. Ah, and we're back with the um, Española, Connecticut. It's running a little bit on that. Uh, right there on the um, burn, but it caught itself up. I didn't have to touch it up. Still very creamy. Still got the uh, um, cinnamon and nutmeg hay in the background. <coughs> like the uh, Maduro, that pepper is really coming to the front right now. Um, the salt's not too strong, but the pepper is really coming to the front. Which, you know, happens a lot when you get down that low in a cigar. But uh, overall, I'm impressed. For a Maduro, it's got a nice flavor. Um, unfortunately, it only lasts about an hour and uh, five minutes. But, uh, you know, it's not as, thick, not as heavy as that uh, Maduro was, so it's going to take a little less time apparently. But anyway, it's a good cigar. I'm impressed with the Española folks. Um, it's been a good experience. I've enjoyed both of their cigars today. Looking forward to getting some more when I can. And uh, matter of fact, ha, I've got two more. I had a four pack. I've got two more. I don't need to review those cigars. So I just get to smoke those cigars. It's all good. Till next time, Cigar Pals, smooth smoking.